Good day everyone, I'm Sir RJ Lason, your math tutor and guide on this exciting journey through the world of numbers. In this video, we will discuss all about systems of linear inequalities in two variables. A linear inequality in two variables can be written in one of five forms. These are ax plus by greater than c, ax plus by less than c, ax plus by greater than or equal to c, ax plus by less than or equal to c, and ax plus by is not equal to c. Where your a, b, and c are real numbers, a must not equal to 0 and b must not equal to 0. Two or more linear inequalities is considered to form a systems of linear inequalities. So these are examples of systems of linear inequalities. There are given two inequalities here, which are 3x plus y greater than 9, 6x plus y less than 12. These are the standard form or of the given linear inequalities. While we can change this one also into their slope-intercept form. So change 3x plus y greater than 9 into its slope-intercept form, we have y greater than negative 3x plus 9. Just need to transpose 3x to the right side. And then we have 6x plus y less than 12. We can transform this one into its slope-intercept form with y <clears throat> less than negative 6x plus 12. You just need to transpose 6x to the right side. A solution to a system of linear inequalities in two variables consists of an ordered pair that satisfies both inequalities. We need to remember that uh, the solution uh, it is considered to be a solution set or a solution of a given system of linear inequalities. The ordered pair must satisfy both inequalities. So we have here an example. 6x plus 7y less than 12 and negative 4x plus 2y greater than or equal to 9. Uh, these are the given systems of linear inequalities. So let's try the ordered pair negative 4 and 1. Now, to check if it is uh, a solution set, we need to substitute negative 4 and 1 to, fir to the first inequality and then after that, check if it is true or false. Next, we need to uh, substitute the negative 4 and 1 uh, ordered pair to the second linear inequality. So let's start with 6x plus 7y less than 12. So substitute negative 4 and 1. So we have 6 times negative 4 plus 7 times 1 less than 12. So we have 6 times 4 is negative 24 plus 7 less than 12. So negative 24 plus 7. So we have negative 17 less than 12. Is negative 17 less than 12? Yes, so that is true. Next, we need to substitute uh, the values, uh, the ordered pairs of negative 4 and 1 to the second uh, linear inequality, which is negative 4x plus 2y greater than or equal to 9. So we have now negative 4 times negative 4 plus 2 times 1. We have greater than or equal to 9. So we have negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16 plus 2 greater than or equal to 9. So 16 plus 2, we have 18. Is 18 greater than or equal to 9? Yes, that is true. Since both inequalities are true, the ordered pair negative 4 and 1 is a solution of the system. Let's try another with the same system of linear inequalities in two variables. Let's try another ordered pair. So we have 0 and negative 5. Let's check. So substitute 0 and negative 5 to the first linear inequality, which is 6x plus 7y less than 12. So we have 6 times 0 plus 7 times negative 5 less than 12. So 6 times 0, we have 0 plus uh, 7 times negative 5, we have negative 35. So 0 minus 35 less than 12. So we have neg is negative 35 less than 12? Yes, that is true. Now let's check if the uh, given ordered pair is also uh, true 
in the given uh, in the second linear inequality so we have negative 4x plus 2y greater than or equal to 9 so we have negative 4 times 0 plus 2 times negative 5 greater than or equal to 9 so negative 4 times 0 we have 0 2 times negative 5 we have negative 10 greater than or equal to 9 is negative 10 greater than or equal to 9 false that no that is false since it does not satisfy to the second inequality, the ordered pair 0 and negative 5 is not a solution of the given system. So automatically, class, if uh, one of your inequality does not satisfy the given ordered pair, that is automatically, that is not a solution of the given system. You need to take note of that. Again, how can we say that the given ordered pair is a solution of uh, to the given system of linear inequalities when both uh, inequalities satisfies the given ordered pair, okay? Next, we have a uh, second example of our uh, system. We have 2x minus 4y less than 10 and x plus y greater than or equal to negative 5. So, we, try, we need to try, we need to, try to substitute the given ordered pair negative 5 and negative 3 so first we need to substitute that one to the first linear inequality so we have 2x minus 4y less than 10 so we have 2 times negative 5 minus 4 times negative 3 less than 10 so 2 times negative 5 we have negative 10 negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12 so we have negative 10 plus 12 less than 10. So what is negative 10 plus 12? We have positive 2 here. Is positive 2 less than 12? Uh, less than 10? Yes, that is true. Next, we need to substitute x plus y less than or equal to negative 5 to the given ordered pair, which is negative 5 and negative 3. So, negative 5 plus negative 3 less than or equal to negative 5. Remember that we have the same a like sign class, the same sign, so negative 5 and negative 3. So, we just need to combine them. So, we have negative 8. Is negative 8 greater than or equal to negative 5? No. That is false. Since it does not satisfy the second inequality, the ordered pair negative 5 and negative 3 is not a solution of the system. Next, we have the same system and the next ordered pair we have 2 and negative 5. Let's try this one. So we have 2 times neg uh, 2 times 2 minus 4 times 5 less than 10. So 2 times 2 we have 4 minus a negative 4 times 5, we have negative 20 less than 10. So, is what is 4 minus 20? We have negative 16. Is negative 16 less than 10? That is true. Next, we need to substitute 2 and 5 to the, give, to the second linear inequality, which is x plus y greater than or equal to negative 5. So, 2 plus 5 greater than or equal to negative 5. So, 2 plus 5 is 7. Is 7 greater than or equal to negative 5? Yes, that is true. Since both inequalities are true, the ordered pair 2 and 5 is a solution of the given system. Let's try another example. So we have here uh, the given system. We have y less than 1 half x plus 2 and y greater than negative 1 third x plus 1. So the given... A ordered pair is negative one, a five and one, so we need to substitute negative five and one to the first linear inequality. So we have y, a one, is less than one half times negative five plus two. So we have here to simplify one half times negative five, just multiply one times negative five. We have negative five, and then two times one we have two. So we have now one less than negative 5, uh, negative 5, 5, uh, five, five halves plus 2. And then you need to change 2 to its fraction form with the same denominator uh, in the given negative 5 over 2. So what will be the fraction form for this one? So we need to change this one into 4 halves. Since 4 halves is equivalent also to 2. So we have now 1 less than negative 5 over 2 plus 4 halves. 
So now we have negative 5 plus 4. So we have negative 1, negative 1 over 2 or 1 is less than negative 1 half. Is 1 less than negative 1 half? No, that is false. Now let's try to check the second linear inequality. We have y greater than negative 1 third x plus 1. Substitute negative 5 and 1. So we have 1 less a uh, greater than negative 1 third times negative 5 plus 1. So multiply negative 1 times negative 5. We have positive 5 over 3 plus 1. Now we need to change 1 here into fraction form so that we can add 5 thirds to its value of 1. So when we change this 1 into fraction form with the same denominator, we have 3 over 3. Since 3 over 3 is, is also an equivalent to 1. So we have 1 greater than 5 thirds plus 3 thirds. So we have now 1 greater than 8 over 3. Or that is 8 over 3 is equivalent to 2.67. Is 1 greater than 2.67? No, that is false. Since both inequalities are false, the ordered pair negative 5 and 1 is not a solution of the given system. We have now another ordered pair, the same system class, so we have negative 2 and negative 2. Let's try to check this one, if this satisfies the given system of linear inequalities. So we need to substitute negative 2 and negative 2 to the first uh, linear inequality. We have y less than 1 half x plus 2. So we have now negative 2 less than 1 half times negative 2 plus 2. So we have 1 half times negative 2, we have negative 2 over 2. So we have now negative 2 less than negative 2 over 2 plus 2. We need to change this one into fraction form with the same denominator as 2. Now we have negative 2 less than negative 2 over 2 plus 4 halves. Since 4 halves is the same equivalent to 2. Negative 2 over 2 plus 4 over 2. So we have here 2 over 2. So we have now negative 2 less than 2 over 2. So is negative 2 less than, equal, uh, less than 1? So that is true. Next, we need to substitute negative two over two, uh, negative two and negative two to the give uh, to the second linear inequality. We have y greater than negative one third x plus one. So negative two greater than one negative one third times one half plus one. So we have here now negative one third times negative two. So we have positive two thirds. So negative two great greater than two-thirds plus one so we need to change this one into fraction form so we have now three over three since three over three is equivalent to one we can now add two-thirds and three over three-thirds so we have five-thirds is negative two greater than five-thirds that is false since it does not satisfy the second inequality the ordered pair negative two and negative two is not a solution of the system Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've learned something out of this lesson. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with your grade 8 friends. Thank you so much everyone. Goodbye!